Hey everybody, welcome back to Sky Vaults. We had a really big first episode. Um, that was uh, that was nuts. We completed our first vault. Uh, that's kind of crazy. Take a look here. Uh, we have completed one survived one. That's we got very lucky and got two pieces of vault gear. They're okay. They're nothing nothing crazy. Um, we got some decent starting gear. So we're just uh, we're just gonna head into the vault and uh, see what we can get. Head into our next one, and uh, hopefully it's something good. Uh, it's just a normal one. It's three monoliths. Uh, I kind of want to, if we can get another completion, that would be an amazing. But it's not very likely. In earlier versions, in earlier versions, the obelisks for completing vaults would always be right in the middle, basically, or near the middle. But the monoliths can be anywhere in the room. Asia books. Grab everything for now. We'll dump things off as we go. I'd like to find a room with lava if I can. Uh, there are some POIs that can have lava, so. We are uh, an east-facing vault. Oh, that's not good. Bad. Oh, he's a fast one. Enemies inside the vault have some slightly randomized stats as well. Nice. So sometimes they can be faster like that. Ah, okay. Lava over there. I think I heard that one fizzle. Forgot that we have... it did not. Uh, it looks like they can't get to me here, so I'm actually just going to try and very slowly break the spawner. want to do this because these are ornate chests which can have crafting materials in them among other things but we can get uh, iron and stuff from these and a netherite helmet a spare diamond axe yeah good stuff Think that's everything. We do have more ornate chests um, where were they? somewhere. Was that over here? Yes. Okay, this is also not a fizzle spawner. So we'll have to be quick.
Really? Only... Yeah, okay. Fizzle? No. It's not Fizzle. We don't want to mess with it. Right. Okay. Um, let's just go to the next room. Maybe we can find a good room here. Ah, that's nice. I'd like to get some wool. a fizzle as well, which is nice. Breaking and fortune. Get rid of those. Um, diamond nugget. Just want to get enough for a bed so that we can get rid of the phantoms. Mostly for my sake while I'm building. So we are playing on normal difficulty, but if you're playing on hard difficulty, these guys will actually throw bricks at you if you're pillaring. Uh, I'm bad at video games, as a lot of you guys should know by now. So I like to play on normal difficulty for most things, but... Cool, plenty of wool. Um, he's facing this way. And mark this quick. I'm not as interested in wooden chests right now. Uh, we have the lava that I wanted, so I'll be able to make the lower base. Ooh, a village room. Very good, very good. House. I don't see a house. Um, Podzel. Sad. Oh, jungle and coconut, though. Or not coconut, cocoa bean. Those will definitely take. Uh, birch. As long as we have cocoa beans, that's what I really care about. So we have a couple. Um,. And if we can, I wouldn't mind getting a jungle sapling. I don't know if we have one yet or not. So. So I'm mostly excited about this room because we might be able to find some goodies down here. Some diamonds. Emeralds aren't super useful right now, but stuff is still good XP. Paper. Paper won't be useful until I 
have villagers anyways, and even then, I'd rather not use paper. I'd want to just hope I get sugar cane for infinite paper anyways. Mushrooms could be useful, but... This one is a coral one. Cool, sea pickles. So yeah, these these rooms, these uh, these little like forest rooms, uh, they have some basic resources. I don't believe these uh, rooms are in normal vaults. They're only in the raw vaults, as far as I know. Um, oh, we got a mine room. Fantastic. Okay. Now. This mine room does have spawners, I believe, so we do have to be a little careful, but. The build team did a fantastic job on this room, though. It looks awesome. I didn't even realize, but there's some up in like the walls and stuff as well. There's a little more to the uh, the underside of this area, but that's where the spawners are. However, there are compressed blocks. And cobwebs. Compressed stone times two. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Um the iron shovel. I need a sword for these, so we'll just have to break it with our hands very slowly. You know what? We have uh, we have string for, or we have uh, wool rather. For bed so we don't need to worry about cobwebs still no spawners i swore there were spawners down here soul sand wow we actually really want the soul sand for the acacia. Ah, spawner. But it was a fizzle, so that's good. Ancient debris. There's another one. Jump scare. Uh, we want the soul sand because uh, elevators. At least they're all fizzling. Lucky us. The, uh, the mine room here is really cool, though. As you can see, there a lot of these special rooms are just for the vanilla resources that you can't normally get just to make a skyblock more possible, more feasible.
definitely want the iron. Uh, we only need one type of wool. Any other compressed blocks I care about? Another loop through the way I went. You're a villager. It's a ghost. It's like, what is a villager doing in this POI? That doesn't make any sense. No, it does. Still have nine minutes, so we got plenty of time. We've only gone one direction as well. Pressed granite will grab. Um, over what? Lantern. Uh, okay. The only other thing now is to get some vault stone and hopefully get some chipped vault rocks. There we are. And we'll drop catalyst fragment. Won't be using catalysts for a bit. And you get loads of catalyst fragments from, uh, from gilded chests, so. I have nine. Let's try and get enough for like three crystals. Thirteen. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, and I guess we'll grab some vault cobblestone as well. Um, oh, but what do we leave? Um, we don't quite, or no, no, we have a ton of chromatic iron from that mystery box, actually. So we're fine on that. Uh, let's just drop that. We can get plenty of sticks. We'll get unlimited sticks. Oop. Okay, let's get out of here. It's looking like it's time to skedaddle. This was a very good vault. Lots of good stuff.
still have a little bit of time, so we could probably gather a few more things, but I'd rather just get out for now. Not too bad. Not too bad. We have one more crystal available until we're going to have to wait for stuff. So let me go ahead and clean up my inventory quick. And uh, then we're going to start getting ready to set up the actual base. And I'm going to do that uh, closer to like sea level. Uh, so we'll be right back. All right. So we're cleaned up on the inventory front now. Uh, we are going to get ready to head down to where we want to go. Um, in order to do that first, this is actually a trick that I saw Dead Pine use for his series, and I like it a lot. He simply got lava and allowed the lava to flow all the way down to bedrock. And then what we can do is uh, send water down on top of the lava and turn it all into cobblestone. And that'll give us a pillar going all the way down. Uh, and we can use that to, uh, to get down to where we want to start building. So I'm going to let this flow for a little bit. And uh, then we'll be back. All right. So... It's not all the way down, but it's pretty far down. So what we're going to do is get our water. We're going to put our water here for now. And we are going to, let's see. We're going to take the lava, put it in the hole, grab the water, put it down, and let it flow over. And because the water is going to flow much faster than the lava, it will just turn it into a big stone pillar. There we go. And from here, uh, well, from here we can uh, get our ladders and start laddering down. So I went ahead and made some ladders. And because of quark, we can do this. So that'll get our ladders all the way down. I don't need this to go all the way down. Um, this should get us uh, close to around uh, like Y level 60. So we want to be real careful here. Uh, let's go grab just grab some cobblestone for now. Do we have the option of making like cobbled bricks? We do. Hmm. Um, I'm just going to use cobble for now and I will swap it out later. So we're going to take this down to about Y level 60. Yeah, I don't want to go much lower because I want it to stay light. We'll use Quark here. Okay, this is always uh, clenchy. Orca makes building sky blocks a lot nicer, though. Okay, so that's how we're getting down to this level, Y64. Um, you can go lower, but I want to stay where it's still uh, light. 
Um, I'm going to continue expanding this out and I'm going to start moving everything down here and I will see you guys when that's all ready. Well, did a little bit of searching, but, uh, nothing. Uh, it's definitely something to do with the fact that I had a full inventory. Uh, but I cleaned up a little bit here, organized a couple things, put all the vault related things in here. And we'll talk about what those specific items are as they come up and become important. But basically, you want to grab everything at this point. Um, I'm going to start doing dark oak for all these saplings, though. Because I much prefer dark oak over oak. Uh, so yeah, uh, no crate. The one thing some people suggested was... Um, the next time you do a vault, it will uh, give you two end screens and you should get your crate then, whether you complete the next vault or not. Um, I guess I will just have to see. I don't know. Uh, we do have our anvil. So I'm going to set the anvil down here. And we have some books. Unbreaking. Fortune. Breaking. Um, how many diamonds do we have? None? Looks like none. Okay. Um, probably get Unbreaking 3. And we don't have Silk Touch, so we'll just go for the Fortune. Let's see how much we can actually get out of this. Uh, we'll do the Fortune books first. And we'll do Unbreaking Books. That's four. That's six. Ten levels. We have enough. So that'll give us Fortune 2. When we're in the vaults, I'd much rather go for uh, Silk Touch, which when we're when we have the luxury of being able to do that, then I will. Um, but in the meantime, this is, uh, this will do. What do we have to use as a block? Um, I don't really have a ton of wood to use as a block. We'll grab a little bit, and then when we get into our next raw vault, because we will have to do another raw vault before, we need to get glass, which we'll get from sand, and then we need to find honey or bees, or just find the bottle of honey, I guess. We might be able to find bottles of honey inside living chests. That could that could potentially be how that works as well. But we'll have to wait for these to grow. Um, when all of these are done growing, uh, then I'll harvest them and move it over here as well. Um, I'll do a little bit of stuff off camera here get ready, get some extra crystals stocked up for the next video. But that's going to do it for this one. Um, we'll go ahead and take our level, I guess. I want to go for Hunter, and I'm going to specialize into Observer. Uh, so the normal Hunter shows you chests. This one will show you objectives, and it will show you monoliths. So we'll take that. Um, I like using all of these. Uh, observer, very good. Heal's going to keep us alive, dash. The usual. I'll get prepared for the next couple raw vaults, and uh, hopefully in the next one we'll get our monolith crate from this one. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.